Bolzover Castle was originally constructed on a hilltop which was once occupied by a medieval fortress built by the Perival family in the early 12th century. It's a magnificent building and can be seen for miles. Bolzover Castle became the crown property in 1155 when William Perivel III fled into exile. Shortly afterwards, the Ferrers family, who were Earls of Derby, they laid claim to the Perivel property. When a group of barons led by King Henry II's sons revolted against the king's rule, Henry increased the garrison of Bolzover Castle to accommodate as many as 20 knights. The revolt failed, but Richard and his brothers begged their father's forgiveness and in 1189 Henry agreed to name Richard his heir. Two days later Henry II died and Richard succeeded him as King of England and became known as Richard the Lionhearted. One of the great features of this particular castle is here on the left, this place. It's actually an interior riding school. And when the riding school was completed, it included a forge, a tack and a harness room, a large arena and an upper viewing gallery. One of the most notable features of the riding school is its magnificent timber roof. The riding school is among the finest surviving indoor riding schools in the country and is considered a landmark in British equestrianism. A magnificent beech tree dominates the courtyard here. On the left is the Terrace Range, which overlooks the Vale of Scarsdale. Originally, that terrace uh, consisted of apartments and kitchens, but was extended to include a long gallery and an external staircase. Although most of it is in ruins now, you can still see some of the magnificent fireplaces as it used to have. With the onset of the English Civil War, Sir William Cavendish took command of the Royalist troops where, upon his defeat, he was forced to flee into exile. And as a result, Bolsover Castle was surrendered to Oliver Cromwell's troops in August of the same year. They were the ones responsible for much of the destruction which has left this as their heritage. This is overlooking the Vale and it is a magnificent view, the Vale of Scarsdale, panoramic all the way. From 1883 on, Bolsover Castle has remained uninhabited and was eventually given to England by the 7th Duke of Portland in 1945, where it is now in the care of the English heritage. Here you can see an example of the windows of the long terraced apartments and halls. Still an imposing structure even today. Mounting these stairs takes us into the, what is known as the Little Castle. And you can see here that Father Bush was well taken by this. In fact it was right about here he was talking about having a second collection for buying it, I think.
You can Im imagine the view from the top of these stairs. No wonder he fell in love with it. This is the Grand Hall. The fireplace there in the hall is dated 1616. Well, heroic scenes, certainly. Now this is known as the Pillar Parlour. Originally known as the Lower Dining Room. It's a lavishly decorated room that was used as a second dining room for the more intimate diners and celebrations. The white pillars and sweeping arch ceilings are a beautiful example of 17th century architecture. The walls are wood paneling and grained with gilded decorations. I think Father Bush here was thinking that this would make a good office for him. <laughs> Just look at that vaulted ceiling. Intricate carving, wonderful architecture. This is the star chamber and this was the main chamber for the owners of the castle. Only family members and privileged guests would have been allowed to attend. That's a beech tree. And you want one. You definitely want one of these. You definitely want one. Yeah. You want it moved stone by stone to Nicholasville? I would appreciate that. Yes. Okay. <laughs>